We moved a lot as a kid. We moved every three years. And when I was 14, we moved all the way across the country from Maryland to the Pacific Northwest. I went to college at the Evergreen State College in Olympia, Washington. And I studied photography. <laughs> That's when I first met Kathleen Hannah. She literally made an entrance because I remember she was late for class. I guess my first impressions were she reminded me of a young Elizabeth Taylor. Terry Wright was just the focus thing I'd ever seen and had all these ideas and like taught me about Sonic Youth and Pixie and stuff I didn't know about. We were all trying to make feminist work that was kind of inspired by Jenny Holzer and Barbara Kruger and you know we were taking these photo classes and, and when we would bring in our work we were treated like we were crazy. I made work about sexism. I took pictures from books I found in the library. So I did this thing that juxtaposed the images of the women and then this picture of the little girl in this like portrait and it said pretend you like it on her and then it's like believe you like it on the housewives because my work was censored from the college we started an art gallery in like an old garage and it was called Becca Muse and it was like a feminist art space that me and my friends started I think we were coming into a really heightened level of awareness in terms of feminism and sexist representation of women. A really very clear memory I have of Kathleen showing me a copy of a copy of an article from Time magazine, Is Feminism Dead? We both got really emotional, like it couldn't be dead because we were living it. We were doing it and thinking it and feeling it, you know,